The Lion King Once upon a time, in the heart of the African savanna, there existed a vast and magnificent kingdom known as the Pride Lands. This realm was ruled by a wise and noble lion named Mufasa, who was lovingly referred to as the Lion King. The animals of the Pride Lands admired and respected Mufasa, as he was known for his strength, fairness, and unwavering dedication to protecting and nurturing his subjects. Mufasa had a young and adventurous cub named Simba, who possessed boundless curiosity and an insatiable desire to explore the vast plains of the kingdom. Simba's best friend was Nola, a spirited and courageous lioness who shared in his love for adventure. Together, they would embark on exciting escapades under the watchful eye of Zazu, a talkative hornbill who served as Mufasa's loyal and diligent advisor. However, not all members of the Pride Lands were content with Mufasa's reign. Scar, Mufasa's envious and conniving brother, yearned for the throne himself. Scar, consumed by jealousy and fueled by his desire for power, hatched a treacherous plan to overthrow Mufasa and eliminate Simba as the rightful heir. One day, Scar tricked Simba into venturing into the forbidden elephant graveyard, a dangerous and desolate place filled with peril. Little did Simba know that Scar had arranged for a pack of hyenas, led by the cunning Shenzi, to ambush him and Nola. Despite the danger, Simba and Nola managed to escape the clutches of the hyenas, narrowly avoiding a grim fate. Feeling guilt and shame, Simba believed that he was responsible for his father's tragic demise. Overwhelmed with grief, he made the heart-wrenching decision to flee the Pride Lands, leaving behind his beloved family and friends. Simba ventured far away, hoping to escape the weight of his perceived sins and find solace in a life of carefree existence. It was during his journey that Simba encountered Tymon, a quick-witted and easy-going meerkat, and Pumba, a kind-hearted and jovial warthog. Together, they introduced Simba to their laid-back lifestyle of Hakuna Matata, a philosophy that celebrated a worry-free and joyful existence. Simba, yearning for a fresh start, embraced their teachings and found comfort in their companionship. Years passed, and the Pride Lands suffered greatly under Scar's tyrannical rule. Scar's malevolent actions had caused the once thriving kingdom to wither and decay. The animals were starved of food and hope, and the circle of life was thrown out of balance. Zazu, who had stayed behind, valiantly tried to maintain order, but Scar's oppressive regime proved overwhelming. As fate would have it, Nola, who had been tirelessly searching for help beyond the Pride Lands, stumbled upon Simba during her quest. Recognizing each other instantly, they rejoiced in their reunion and shared stories of the trials they had faced. Nola, desperate to restore peace and prosperity to their homeland, implored Simba to return and reclaim his rightful place as the Lion King. Guided by the wise and spiritual presence of his father, Mufasa, whose spirit whispered in the wind, 
Simba found the strength and resolve to confront his past and face his responsibilities. With newfound courage, he agreed to journey back to the Pride Lands, accompanied by his loyal friends, Timon and Pumba. Upon their arrival, Simba and his companions were devastated to witness the extent of the destruction caused by Scar's ruthless reign. The once lush and vibrant landscapes had transformed into desolate and barren wastelands. The Pride Land's inhabitants, weak and demoralized, yearned for a savior to deliver them from despair. Simba's return ignited a spark of hope within the Pride Lands. The sight of their true king standing tall and resolute filled the animals with newfound determination. The lionesses, once fierce protectors of the kingdom, rallied around Simba, ready to fight for their freedom. Other creatures, inspired by his bravery, added their strength to the cause. A monumental battle ensued as Simba, joined by Nola, Timon, Pumba, and the united forces of the Pride Lands, faced off against Scar and his hyena allies. The clash between good and evil reverberated across the plains as the fight for justice and the restoration of harmony raged on. Scar, refusing to accept defeat, attempted to shift blame onto the Hinas, betraying them to save himself. The Hinas, who had been blinded by Scar's promises of power, realized the depth of his deception and turned against him. With their allegiance severed, they joined forces with Simba, acknowledging the righteousness of his cause. In a final confrontation atop Pride Rock, Simba confronted Scar, exposing his vile treachery for all to see. Scar's malicious intent and betrayal were laid bare, leaving him isolated and desperate. Cornered, Scar resorted to his last weapon, manipulation, provoking Simba into admitting his perceived guilt for Mufasa's death. Just as Scar seemed to revel in his imminent victory, Simba, Realizing that his father's death was not his fault, refuted Scar's accusations with unwavering clarity. In a moment of profound truth, Simba understood that true responsibility was not in shouldering guilt for the past, but in embracing the present and shaping a better future. With the truth revealed, the tides of battle turned. Scar, consumed by his own malevolence, faced the consequences of his actions. In a poetic twist, he met his end at the jaws of the very heinous he had used and discarded. The Pride Lands, liberated from Scar's reign, were finally free to breathe and heal. Simba, scarred yet strengthened by his journey, ascended Pride Rock, the pinnacle of leadership. The animals of the Pride Lands rejoiced as the heavens opened, showering the parched earth with life-giving rain. The land responded, blooming with lush vegetation and rejuvenating the once barren wasteland. Simba, now the true Lion King, ruled the Pride Lands with compassion, wisdom, and a deep understanding of the delicate balance of nature. He honored the memory of his father, Mufasa, whose teachings had shaped him into the leader he had become. With Nola by his side as his queen, 
They guided the kingdom toward a future where love, harmony, and prosperity reigned supreme. Simba's reign brought unity and stability to the Pied Lands. He recognized the importance of nurturing friendships and cultivating the unique strengths of each individual. Timon and Pumba, who had offered him refuge and taught him the value of a carefree spirit, became valued advisors, ensuring that joy and laughter remained integral to the kingdom's well-being. As time went on, Simba shared his experiences and wisdom with the younger generation, including his own cups, instilling in them the values of compassion, responsibility, and the interconnectedness of all living things. The story of Simba's journey from loss to redemption and the triumph of good over evil echoed through the generations, reminding all who heard it of the enduring power of love, courage, and the circle of life. And thus, the legacy of the Lion King continued to thrive, inspiring future rulers to protect and preserve the harmony of the Pride Lands for eternity. The Little Mermaid Once upon a time, in a beautiful underwater kingdom, there lived a young and curious mermaid named Ariel. She had long, flowing red hair and a voice as sweet as a melody. Ariel dreamed of exploring the world above the ocean's surface, filled with humans and their fascinating world. But her father, King Triton, was worried about the dangers of the human world. He forbade Ariel from going to the surface and interacting with humans. However, Ariel's curiosity and adventurous spirit could not be tamed. One day, while exploring a shipwreck, Ariel discovered a mesmerizing collection of human treasures. Among the artifacts was a statue of a handsome prince. Captivated by the statue, Ariel couldn't help but dream of a life on land. In her heart, she wished to become human and live among them. Determined to fulfill her desire, Ariel sought the help of a sea witch named Ursula. Ursula, a cunning and wicked sorceress, agreed to help Ariel but in exchange for her enchanting voice. Ariel hesitated but ultimately agreed, believing that love and determination would be enough to win over the prince. With the sea witch's magic, Ariel transformed into a human and surfaced onto the land. She found herself on a beautiful beach, a tail replaced by a pair of legs. However, there was a catch. Ariel had traded her voice for this transformation and couldn't speak a word. Despite her voiceless state, Ariel caught the attention of the prince. He found her singing enchanting melodies without realizing that she was the same mermaid from the statue. The prince, drawn to Ariel's beauty and kind spirit, decided to take her to his palace. Ariel faced many challenges as a human, unable to communicate and express her true self. But she discovered the power of friendship and determination when she befriended a cheerful and lovable crab named Sebastian. Sebastian helped Ariel navigate the human world, teaching her about human customs and how to communicate without words. Meanwhile, 
Asala, who was jealous of Ariel's transformation, plotted to steal the prince's heart for herself. Using her dark magic, Ursula transformed into a beautiful human and used Ariel's voice to deceive the prince into believing that she was the one who saved him. With the help of her friends, Ariel uncovered Ursula's evil plan. Despite her voiceless state, Ariel showed bravery and selflessness. Together, they confronted Ursula and restored Ariel's voice, breaking Ursula's enchantment. In a thrilling battle, Ariel and her friends defeated Ursula and saved the prince from her clutches. The sea witch's powers were destroyed, and peace was restored to the underwater kingdom. The prince, realizing Ariel's true identity and the sacrifices she made for him, fell in love with her. He confessed his love, and Ariel discovered that love could indeed overcome all obstacles. With the blessing of her father, King Triton, Ariel transformed back into a mermaid and lived happily ever after with her prince in the underwater kingdom. As Ariel returned to the underwater kingdom with her prince, their love story spread throughout the ocean, filling the hearts of Merfolk with hope and wonder. The underwater kingdom celebrated their union with a grand wedding, where creatures from all corners of the ocean gathered to witness the joyous occasion. Ariel's friends, including Sebastian the Crab, Flounder the Fish, and Scuttle the Seagull, played important roles in the preparations. Sebastian conducted a magnificent orchestra of fish, creating beautiful music that echoed through the underwater palace. Flounder, ever loyal and playful, adorned the palace with vibrant coral decorations, making it a sight to behold. Scuttle, with his eccentric personality, acted as the master of ceremonies, bringing laughter and excitement to the event. As the wedding day arrived, the kingdom was a flurry of activity. Pearl-clad mermaids swam gracefully, weaving intricate flower garlands, while colorful fish dancers practiced their graceful routines. King Triton, filled with joy and pride, looked upon his daughter with tears of happiness in his eyes. He saw how Ariel's love for the prince had transformed her into a mature and compassionate young mermaid. The wedding ceremony took place in a majestic underwater garden, adorned with blooming coral and sparkling sea anemones. The entire kingdom gathered around, their voices united in a melodious chorus to celebrate the union of their beloved princess. The wise and gentle sea creatures of the kingdom, such as dolphins, turtles, and wise old whales, blessed Ariel and the prince with their ancient wisdom. Promising to protect and guide them throughout their journey together. They emphasized the importance of harmony and understanding between the different worlds, land and sea. After the heartfelt vows were exchanged, the ocean bestowed its magical blessings upon Ariel and the prince. The waters shimmered with radiant light, enveloping the couple in a magical aura symbolizing their everlasting love and commitment. As the celebration continued, Ariel and the prince embarked on an enchanting wedded journey, exploring the wonders of both the ocean and the land. Together, 
They swam among coral reefs, danced with dolphins, and marveled at the beauty of the sunsets on the horizon. Through their adventures, Ariel discovered the true wonders of the human world while the prince learned to appreciate the depths of the ocean. They shared stories of their respective worlds, promoting understanding and respect between the land and the sea. Years passed, and Ariel and the prince became wise rulers, spreading their message of love and acceptance to all corners of the ocean and the land. They established harmony between humans and Murphic, ensuring the protection and preservation of both worlds. The Little Mermaid's tale continued to inspire generations, reminding them of the power of dreams, friendship, and love. Ariel's curiosity and determination paved the way for a world where creatures of the sea and humans could coexist in harmony creating a brighter future for all. And so, the Little Mermaid story teaches us the importance of following our dreams, the value of friendship, and the power of love, reminding us that true beauty lies within our hearts. The Jungle Boy The Jungle Boy, now known as Sam, spent his days immersed in the wonders of the jungle alongside his animal companions. They became his closest confidants, teaching him the secrets of the forest and guiding him through its hidden pathways. Sam's bond with the animals grew stronger with each passing day. The monkeys showed him how to swing effortlessly through the treetops. The wise old elephant shared stories of ancient wisdom. And the mischievous parrots taught him the language of the jungle. Together, they explored the depths of the jungle, uncovering its mysteries and marveling at its beauty. As time went on, Sam's understanding of the jungle deepened. He observed the delicate balance between predator and prey, witnessed the vibrant cycle of life and death, and learn to respect the intricate web of nature. He realized the importance of preserving the jungle and its inhabitants, ensuring their survival for generations to come. One day, while venturing deeper into the jungle than ever before, Sam stumbled upon a hidden clearing. In the center stood an ancient tree, adorned with intricate carvings and symbols. Curiosity sparked within him as he approached the tree, feeling an inexplicable connection to its mystical presence. As he touched the weathered bark, a surge of energy coursed through Sam's veins. Suddenly, a mesmerizing light enveloped him, transporting him to a realm where the spirits of the jungle dwell. There, he encountered the wise spirit of the forest, a majestic creature with radiant wings. The spirit spoke with a gentle voice, revealing to Sam his true destiny, to be the guardian of the jungle and its creatures. Sam was chosen to protect the delicate balance of nature, to nurture its harmony, and to be the bridge between the human world and the mystical realm of the jungle. 
With newfound purpose, Sam returned to his village as the jungle boy, a defender of the wild and a messenger of unity. He shared his experiences, captivating his fellow villagers with tales of his encounters and awakening a deep reverence for the jungle. The Jungle Boy organized educational expeditions, inviting children and adults alike to explore the beauty of the jungle firsthand. Through these adventures, he instilled a sense of wonder and respect for the natural world, inspiring others to become stewards of the environment. Together with his animal companions, the Jungle Boy embarked on missions to protect endangered species, combat deforestation, and raise awareness about sustainable living. He worked with local communities, teaching them the importance of preserving the jungle's resources and nurturing a symbiotic relationship with nature. As the years went by, the Jungle Boy's legacy spread far and wide. His stories and teachings reached distant lands, inspiring a generation of young environmentalists who followed in his footsteps. His name became synonymous with courage, compassion, and the unwavering determination to protect the wilderness. And so, the Jungle Boy's journey continues, his spirit forever intertwined with the rhythm of the jungle. As long as there are jungles to explore and creatures to protect, the Jungle Boy's legacy lives on. Reminding us all of the magic that lies within the heart of nature and the extraordinary potential that lies within ourselves.